Hey guys, let me tell you the funniest story yet from the entire challenge. When I was three, my father was supposed to take me to the kindergarten one day as my, because my mom was sick. And he doesn't actually have a taste when it comes to matching colors of clothes. So <laughs> I had a yellow shirt with a green skirt and I think, I do think that I had pink shoes. Now, everything went well um, throughout the day in the kindergarten, but just before my father came up to pick me up in the evening, one, one, of, um, one of the teachers came by and said, girl, listen, there's something wrong. How come that you're missing underwear? <laughs> I think it's so funny and this is why I shared this I wanted to share this story with you but now let me tell you what was the trigger to recall this memory for me today just before we went to the park I was in such a rush with my kids to go out of the house and make sure that we have everything with us that I might have just made the same mistake that my dad did and so that means that one of my kids was out for a few hours in the park without, guess what, underwear. <laughs> now, the lesson in this video is that even us as parents, um, we may think that we know everything. We may think that we're not making mistakes that we know every time what's best for our kids however we do make mistakes and in time if we're fortunate we may come to realize that sometimes we should listen to our kids and um, teach them how to use the power of choice because you know instead of arguing and and challenging them to do our way to do things our way i do have this firm belief that it would be even better to teach them how to think for themselves and how to handle the power of choice because if they understand and if they learn from early age that they always have a choice and uh, of course that a choice comes with consequences this will also ease our um, uh, our life as parents and it will also make it easier for them as future grown-ups because they will understand that action drives your reaction so this was it the last video of the seven stories seven lessons for me i love you guys i'm gonna see you soon because i kind of enjoy making videos lately so I do have a hunch that I'm going to come back. Have a great day, everyone. Love you guys.